This is me back on Sumatra, on the other place of Sumatra. A few days ago, it was uh, they, they were in West Sumatra uh, at paternal mother site, just close to the maternal uh, paternal family park. And since a week of almost of two, like ten days now. Um, on East Sumatra, which is um, close by to Malaysia, to Singapore, and uh, I haven't been here like 14, 14 years now, 14, 15 years before I went to Europe, to Middle East and stuff. <coughs> Seeing buildings and houses uh, inherited from our grandparents our parents. I now see many many precious lessons which was which were unseen to me. Like as a child I used to be grumpy when my grandma, my aunties, my uncles asked me to do this, to do that by my own and yeah. Since they are gone, since no one, my I still have uh, some. Many, most of my uncles and most of my aunties are still living. Only one passed away in Central Java in 2016 February. I went there. I went to the funeral and stuff with uh, two of my aunties. I flew immediately the moment I got the the, the news. Such a beautiful uh, graveyard between mountains and hills with very beautiful panoramic view from her from her grave with the lake as well and so beautiful so cold I mean it's not cold just fresh air and so beautiful I'm going to visit her this year as well she's quite young like some like 44 something like that almost yeah yeah in at the end of 40s so they taught me how to do things on my own, especially my grandma. My grandpa as well, but my grandpa used to spoil me as well. <laughs> like driving on our own in, in, his, in his favorite car. He has many cars, but uh, he was like really lovely with his uh, late 80s Toyota Corolla twin cam at the time. And he drove, and just two of us to to Ketingi, to Manijau Lake. It's a uh, hilly landscapes and mount mountainy landscapes of West Sumatra, the Manijau Lake, uh, where he came from. Yeah, and just two of us and enjoying the the, 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 the the traditional food and talking like you know, like really great grandpa, like a great one, a group. Oh my God! The best grandpa I, I I I have. Okay, my patron patron grandpa is also my best. I can't forget both. Of them. Yeah, it was such a nice journey. Always took me. Sometimes my grandma even worked. Where are you two? Where where are both of you gone? Like, she would freak out and stuff when we arrived at home. I can I can I still we can recall when they got into fighting because we went way too long like hours and hours and <laughs> okay I, it's about the precious lesson they taught me to do things on my own especially my grandma like on Sunday morning every children every kid even my 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 friends back then. I, I was in Padang for a year, in Padang, capital city of Sumatra, for a year. My friends, they all gone with their bicycles, like playing around or watching TV. Doraemon, that's the time, uh, the Japanese anime, the cat, you know, uh, the cat which has magical pocket. He has everything from his out of his, out of his pocket, and yeah, that every children has, that us. We have many mates, we have many servants, like uh, staff and drivers and stuff. But my grandma, she can't disturb me from watching my favorite TV show, the Doraemon. 
the Japanese anime, the cat, the magic, the cat with magical pocket. So he just keeps screaming and calling me <laughs> from the car, that, calling my name and come help Burma with, with the planting, with the sweeping, with the cutting the grass and stuff. I was so grumpy, I was so grumpy. And afterward, uh, uh Grandpa's favorite car and blah, 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 blah. blah. I was so grumpy. I was so grumpy in my heart that I probably I said that time that I think I'd rather die. <laughs> but now, since my journey, since then, I travel around the world on my own, live on my own, and I really now understand that that is that is that is the true, true, true love. True love they gave, they gave me. They taught me. The most priceless, precious heritage they inherited. That, my gosh, I love that. I'm sorry, I'm emotional now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cry now. <laughs> Uh, I wish you all <sighs> happy. I, 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 I was, I was, I, I couldn't see things like that. That, that it was how, how they, how they reflect their true love to me. And okay, I, I got many things that I asked for. Even such many things that. Many children doesn't have, like, my grandma, I want to have this, I want to have that, and they gave me, but then suddenly when she asked me to, to help her with stuff, and then I was so grumpy, I now realize, I now realize, they do, they do things with their heart, but they don't say it, and that is the beautiful things that will last forever in my mind and in my thought, in my heart, and in my body and soul and I love them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings from Pekanbaru, yeah? This is one of our of our houses. And it's fucking strong wall. <laughs> I tried to uh, nail it. Then it's a uh, <clears throat> steel nail, concrete nail, and it's broken. And it doesn't even go through it. I can show you. Trace. <laughs> my grandpa's, my grandpa's work. He's an engineer in uh, education, but one of his hobbies is also construction. All of his building houses were built by him to the detail. Such a sublime, uh, such sublime uh, quality, quality, uh, and uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot, I rarely find it. I cannot find it even. I rarely find such uh, such nice quality these days, especially from mass developer, because uh, our houses are on built by us. Yeah, yeah. My grandpa's buildings, number one. Uh, I can remember one of our you know, at one of our houses, uh, one at our. Uh, at one of his uh, building's offices, um, the um, the workers has put oh, okay the, the the wall needs a tile like uh, tile walls, and uh, when my grandpa found that they didn't shower it yet very wet with water before applying the, the installing the, the tiles, he told he ordered all the workers take it all down. Take it all down, and like he's becoming very outrageous. He became outrageous, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, all shower and then reinstall again because he really pays attention. And you know what? 2009 earthquakes. So many earthquakes happen in West Sumatra, but our buildings stays good because he put all of his work, all of his sweat, all of, even drop of blood and tears to his, his work. I can remember 
the the uh, story. My grandpa started from zero. Like, okay, our royal family has has many heirlooms in the area, but you know things happen. So my, my grandpa started from zero again. He started selling uh, steamed peanut, the peanuts uh, for snacks, peanuts with the shells, but then steam in Indonesian way, just with sea salt, nothing else. Uh, it's very nice, beautiful. And yeah, he started selling that with, uh, how do you call that? With the cart, pushed. And then he walked miles and miles away from from villages to villages, from 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 even from regency to regency, it's like like more than fifty kilometers away, and just up and down, and then from there he continued studying and teaching and collecting money and collecting money. I mean, he just put his all of his sweat and tears and blood. Yeah, I love you, Grandpa. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm speechless. Huh? I'm speechless. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. I'm so I don't know. Universe, thank you so much. I know they are all are resting. My grandpa passed away in Riyadh, uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and then my grandpa passed away. I was in Bali. Oh, my grandpa passed away. My maternal grandpa passed away when I was in the Netherlands. Oh, it was a free day, and then I got a phone call from my sister. She was, she was not in Indonesia back then, but my sister is in the USA now, working for the United Nations, and uh, yeah. And uh, I got a message that my grandpa passed away, 2007. And then my grandma, I was in Bali in 2011, uh, in Batam. Batam is a small island of Sumatra, uh, just uh, just uh, across Singapore. You just take a ferry boat from Singapore and you are at Batam. 45 minutes, 30, 34, 30 minutes, 45 minutes from Singapore. So, uh, yeah, she was alone at home, and, you know. Everyone is busy. My youngest auntie was uh, busy at her work, and uh, yeah, it meant to be that way because <sighs> they are. I don't know how to say that. My precious example of true love, true love of of being couple, true love of giving love to us, the children, the grandchildren. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be to cry again now, but uh, okay. Thank you very much for watching. Wish you a happy, successful, meaningful, grateful, thankful, blissful, abundantly life. And we need to learn from everything happened that meant the best for all of us now that I understand it now I understand the messages thank you very much thank you very much grandma grandpa thank you very much all. ciao bye bye